Samantha Markle reveals the bitter feud with her sister began when Prince Harry said the royals were the family Meghan has never had. The Duke of Sussex opened up about the first Christmas he shared with his fiancée which was spent in Sandringham with the royal family. Speaking on BBC Radio 4 in 2017, he said, She's done an amazing job, you know it's the family I suppose she's never had. He added that his family loved having the 37-year-old for more actress and said the festivities were fantastic. Half-sister Samantha reveals she felt snubbed by the comments and believes Meghan was embarrassed by their family. Speaking in a new documentary Meghan and the Markles, a family at war that aired on Channel 5 yesterday, Samantha lambasted the comments made by Prince Harry. She said, The first thing I thought was I don't think Harry has been given the full story. Something was not right. Though we weren't the classic family together on schedule for every holiday, we were family. She added, then we questioned why. Why would she be embarrassed about her family, why would you need to set the stage differently? It was starting to feel like she wasn't reaching out to the family. Samantha went on to accuse her half-sister Meghan of having no heart in the scathing interview. In a documentary Meghan and the Markles, a family at war, set to air on Channel 5 tomorrow, Samantha discusses the letter the Duchess of Sussex sent to their father, shortly after she wed Prince Harry. In the letter, published by the Mail on Sunday, Meghan accused Thomas Markle of breaking her heart into a million pieces by giving interviews to the press, fabricating stories and attacking her new husband. Speaking for the first time since the letter was published, Samantha says, she doesn't have a heart or she would been doing everything she could to make him comfortable, and reciprocate, and be loving and gracious, and make sure he's comfortable in his old age. So broken heart? No. His heart is broken. She can't turn herself into the victim here. In the letter published earlier this year, the Duchess admonished her father, in anguished tones, for siding with her Samantha, who has attacked her in the press, while she silently suffered at the hand of her vicious lies. Speaking about the bombshell, Samantha says, That letter was strategic, it was so elegantly written and contrived. She was basically saying that my dad had been a liar and that I was a liar. In an attempt to tell her side of the story, the mother of three adds, he has text messages on his phone. This is a no-brainer, the evidence all says that she was not contacting him. So it doesn't matter what the letter says. There are a lifespan of pictures and experiences together, so maybe it's convenient for her she continues, because maybe in her mind she doesn't want to see us, because she wants to take center stage. Speaking of Meghan's accusations that Samantha had lied about her, she added, I wasn't maliciously lying, I was pointing out what the world was already saying. I was pointing out that humanitarians don't treat their fathers cruelly, was that a lie? And because the world watched it happen to my dad, they watched her do it. Meghan and the Markles, a family at war also looks at the reasons why none of Meghan's relatives, apart from her mother were present at her fairy tale wedding ceremony to Prince Harry last year. The show traces the feuds that split the Markle family in the months leading up to the wedding, and examines the war of words that's raged ever since. One of her harshest critics, Meghan's half-sister, reveals how the two gradually lost contact as the former Suits actress pursued her dream of Hollywood stardom. Other interviewees include Meghan's unofficial biographer Andrew Morton, who explains how other relatives have heaped embarrassment upon her, from her half-brother, Tom Jr., who has been arrested for drink-driving, to her marijuana-farming nephew, Tyler, who has produced a new strain of the drug called Markle Sparkle. Speaking from her home in the U.S., Samantha explains why she has launched a series of attacks on Meghan's behavior, both in press interviews and on social media and answers critics who have accused her of being motivated by resentment and jealousy.